Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video. Today I'm reorganising my bookshelves. So recently I've done two unhauls in the last month, I will link them up here and down here, um, where I've gone through my shelves and kind of gotten rid of some of the books on it. It's also been my birthday, you can see my birthday book haul here and down there as well. Um, and so my shelves are a little bit of a mess. For the most part I like them as they are, but they are so dusty. And I just feel like it's been a while since I've done this. So I thought like this is a really, really good thing to do today. And um, yeah, I've moved my bed. My bed is usually in the middle of the room, which is closer to the bookshelves. But I have moved it so that you can like see most, most of the bookshelves. So I've done my best with angles. Um, yeah, I'm going to go through, I'm going to give them a very well needed dust. That's for sure. I'm going to go through, I'm going to take everything off. Probably not the top, but just because I did that recently. So just ignore the top. That's just like knickknacks um, and a couple of books, but mostly knickknacks. I'm going to take everything off my bookshelves. I'm going to put it all on the bed and on the floor and wherever I can fit it. I'm going to dust all the shelves down. And then I'm going to go ham, trying to get stuff back on here. And I'm going to do it in a way I like. Like, I like a lot of these shelves. Like, I'm going to be honest, I really like my top shelves. The only one I don't like is my Crescent City. I like the way it used to look, but because they're such big books, when they're stood upright, the spine is falling out of the book and ripping. So they have to stay laid down. But yeah, for the most part, I really like these top shelves and I'm just, but I don't know, we're just going to play around. We're just going to play around and see what happens. Now that I have like m more space and also new books, I really want to go with it. While I'm doing it, you're going to see me have my headphones on. I am listening to Cleopatra and Frankenstein. So yeah, hopefully this is a really good book as well get to be reading and doing my bookshelves. Have fun. So I guess there's nothing else to do other than just get on with it. For the sake of the fact my bed is full and there's even books on the floor and I still have two rows left, I'm going to fill some of the ones I know I want up here back in now, but like only a couple just to make some space on the bed. my red books on the shelves all of this are red so now I have five shelves left for TBR I think I can do it in four but we'll see um and if I do have to use all five I'll move that down one but until then we'll just see finished it's all dusted it's looks a lot more crowded ironically um 
I did face a couple of books outwards. Um, what else did I do? Let's have a look. If I sit down, you can see better. I consolidated a couple. I've put like all my horror together because it was kind of like in the middle of nowhere next to some fantasy. Um, yeah, a lot of it has stayed the same, but I have made a designated romance shelf, which I'm really happy with. Because I did just have all my paperbacks that I'd read in one shelf. Now I have that shelf and then I have that shelf down there. You can't see that shelf. This one down here. Um, where was it? <laughs> there and there. Those two are, you know, my red shelves for romance and then all other paperbacks. And yeah, I really, really like it. I've just kind of kept a lot of them the same, as you can see. But I'm also really happy with the way that they've come out and how they look now overall. I'm not going to do a in-depth overview because I'm actually going to film my bookshelf tour for 2023 because I was meant to do it in January and it's now May. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!